here we are saying, let's search for life in the universe, intelligent life like us. Well, who are we to say that we're intelligent? I, I mean, I pose that not as a joke question, but as a very serious question. We define ourselves to be intelligent in ways that no other creature can rival. So you look at the genome, and let's take the chimp. I guess that's a really close relative of ours. And we have, what is it, 90, high 90s percent identical, indistinguishable DNA. And the chimp does not build the Hubble telescope, and the chimp does not compose symphonies. So we must then declare that everything we say about us that is intelligent is found in that one and a half percent difference. Let me invert that question. If the genetic difference between humans and chimps is that small, maybe the difference in our intelligence is also that small. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the difference between stacking boxes and reaching a banana, maybe the difference between that and the Hubble telescope is as small as that difference in DNA. Because I pose the question, suppose there was another life form on Earth or elsewhere, that in that same sort of vector, that one and a half percent difference we are to chimps, suppose they were one and a half percent different from us. They would then roll the smartest of us in front of their hum humatologists <laughs> and say, Hawking, there's Hawking, oh, this one is slightly smarter than the rest of them because he can do astrophysics calculations in his head. <laughs> like little Timmy over here. Yeah.